Okay. Hello, my brothers and sisters from hell. It is a video satanic game from hell. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, bypass Steam's region lock system, or in other words, how to get a specific game on your Steam account, regardless if it's free or if it's if it costs money, if it's not available in your in country. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to have to get yourself a browser that supports extensions. Uh, which I think that uh, by today's standard, I think pretty much any browsers except, uh, you know, supports extensions. I like to use Microsoft Edge because uh, it consumes a, sm a small amount of RAM. I'm pretty sure you, uh, Oprah has VPN built in. It doesn't matter. Okay. So first thing you're going to need is a browser with an extension. And the extension I'm going to be using is this one. It's called VPN, as you saw by its little uh, startup screen. Uh, I got it from the uh, Microsoft ex uh, extension store. I just like got, um, I just got, went to like get more extensions. Literally, um, come on. I uh, typed in VPN, and this was the first thing that that uh, that I got. So I'm using this one. Okay. So the, the next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to Steam on your uh, computer, uh, on, in your, oh, that's not how you go to Steam, I'm sorry. Or you can go to community, okay, whatever. But you want to go to the Steam website, and you want to go to the store page. So, uh, to prove, to, so I'm located in Israel, okay, so um, games like uh, Black Desert Online and Wolfenstein are available to me, let me just show you that to you. If I type in, first of all, if I go to the store and I try to search for Black Desert, Desert, I can't spell apparently. Well, it can't find it. It only f found Black Moon Design. And if I decide to look up Wolfenstein, uh, I can only get uh, Old Blood, uh, Return to Castle, uh, the New Colossus. You know, not everything, right? Right? I only get. Oh, hold on. So I can only get these ones, okay. So, uh, but if I look up Black Desert Online on Google, and I scroll down to the Steam page, it'll give me this error that I can't get it because it's not available in my country. So, what you want to do is you go to the store page, okay. You go to the store page. You uh, activate your VPN. We're going to be using America for uh, for this particular example. You want to actually before I turn it on. Hold on, let me shut it off. Hold on. So before you turn it on, uh, you're gonna want to pick any game from the store. Let's just uh, take uh, the forest here, for example, and we're going to add it to our shopping cart. Now we're gonna go to view my cart, and as you can see, it's telling me that I can uh, buy it for the Israeli currency. Now what you want to do while the item is still in your cart, let's just go to the uh, main store page. We're going to now activate the VPN. It's on. Now if we go to my cart, there's a new section here called country. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is select the country that you have VPN to. In this case, it's the United States because that's where Black Desert and the rest of the Wolfenstein games are available to you. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to give me this prompt. So you're going to want to click the yes to United States or yes to whatever country it is that you're trying to uh, VPN to. You're going to click it. It's going to change. And now you can see... Uh, yeah. And now you can see that the prices are in dollars. And now if I try to look up Black Desert, it as you can see, it found all of them. Here's Black Desert. Now I can access it. Another game that I can access... Let's go again to... Uh, Please don't scream at me. Another game, if you go to Wolf. Wolfenstein. Uh, sorry, I can't spell it. Okay? Now there's a lot more Wolfenstein games. I, I even have uh, Young Blood, which uh, actually somebody bought this to me, but uh, for me. But uh, as you can see, now Black Desert is available. I'm not aware of any other games that are unavailable in my country. But uh, now I can look up Black Desert easily, for example, and get it. So uh, that's that. So once you have bought the game you want, 
for example, well, I can't buy Young Blood again, but you get the point. Uh, you go back. Uh, you re if, let's just say you're buying a game, okay? I don't know. Is the new order available here? I have no idea. But uh, you add whichever game you want. You remove the previous one and you just pay for it. And then once you're done uh, buying things that are not for your country, you switch back to your original one. You click yes. It's gonna change, and now I can't get. I can't look up Black Desert again. It's gone. Black Desert. See, it's gone. And at this point, you can turn off your VPN, and whatever game you were trying to get is now yours. We can remove this from the cart, and that's it. So. I know it's been a bit of a hard to follow tutorial, but that's how you switch your countries. You need a, a VPN, which is uh, free. Uh, oh yeah, also the reason I was doing this in the browser is if you if you want to do this in the main Steam uh, thingy, you're going to have to get a full scale computer VPN, but those cost money, and you know uh, like um, so this w is a free version of it. That's why we did it in the in the browser, but it still will affect your actual Steam. So there you go. And that's how you uh, bypass VPN. Thanks for watching. So quickly, I want to um, drop another thing here at the end. Uh, you should also be aware. I mean, I, I don't think you have you have this problem if you already bought games from Steam in the past. But you, if you are planning on getting a game that is that does have a price tag, you might want to have an international card. Like I, I'm using a MasterCard, and it's like accepted worldwide. Like no matter what currency I'm buying. It will convert automatically, so you do need to consult with your bank or whatever if your card is appropriate uh, for, you know, uh, online transactions, and you should be good. Everything else is like, just, that's it. I just thought I should mention that.